Hey guys, welcome to the 3D Animation Hub. My name is Brian. In our last Rokoko video, we unboxed the suit. We talked about its quality and all the little cool things that Rokoko comes with and just talked about some details about Rokoko. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the Rokoko Studio. I'm going to be taking an animation from Rokoko Studio. I'm going to be downloading it from there, exporting it into Blender, then going to Mixamo, downloading a character from Mixamo, bringing it into Blender and then meshing them together to give the, give our new character the animation we downloaded. So this is, again, this, this is video two in the series. Uh, in the next video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be recording our own data and applying that to a character. Just, and just a reminder, or if you guys don't know, Rokoko has partnered up with the channel and so they're offering 10% discount codes for my subscribers. All you have to do is just message me on Twitter or Instagram that you're very, very interested and I'll activate some codes for you and I'll send them your way. Now with all that out of the way, Let's hop in. Alright, so just to recap real quick, if you guys don't know or if you don't remember, Rokoko is a motion capture suit that's quote unquote affordable. Uh, most motion capture suits go for about $10,000, $20,000 and such. Uh, Rokoko starts at about $2,400. Yeah, there it is. So $24.95, you get the full suit and you can essentially copy the data from your movement and apply it to a character. But in this video, we, all, what we're doing is we're gonna be looking at the studio. So uh, all you have to do is go to rococo.com slash studio, download it, and I've already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna open that up, let it load up, and here you can, we won't get, get into too much detail in this video because um, we're going to be creating a profile in our next video when we're recording our own motion capture. Um, but just make an account, log into your account. And uh, what you can do is in this, in this tab right here, you can uh, create new projects. You can open these projects in this tab. And what we're looking at is at the very right. This is the motion library. And so here you can see uh, different motion captures and you know there's different pages some of them have price tags but if you don't want to pay anything for uh, motion capture data you can just come to price and have it sorted from lowest price to highest and here you can see a bunch of different motion capture uh, data for free okay let's say we like this mid rhythm dancing right here uh, I click on it I'm going to add this to cart I'm gonna go to cart yeah, looks good. Confirm order. Check out. Now it gives us the option to go to our library. And so here are the other animations I've downloaded before. This is our new one right here. So for this one, I want to uh, import selected asset. And that's the project we have, sample project. So let's go and open it up. And it opened up right here. And so for us, it is right here, mid rhythm dance. Now, depending on what type of rig you have, you want to export the animation with certain settings. So uh, let's go here to our sample project, which is where we exported it to. And so here's our uh, mid rhythm dance. I'm going to right click on it, export. And here we have some more export options. So here we can say that we want to export it as an FBX and we want the data to include you know trackers body mesh face everything have it as a binary and the skeleton let's say we want the skeleton to be mixamo because we are going to be downloading a mixamo character and if you have your own character you can rig it with mixamo and you can have this option as well so you export the data as mixamo and it should work fine so now let's export this Okay, so step one done. Now let's go to Mixamo.com to get our character. All right, we're gonna log in. You can log into Mixamo with your Adobe account. Okay, so here on the main page, we have animations and we have characters. Mixamo itself has some motion capture data as well, uh, but we're looking for characters. And let's say we want to apply a character to something clickbaity like this. All right, so let's press download. Uh, make sure it's in FBX form and we'll have it in the T pose. Download again. All right, now that it's downloaded, let's open up Blender. We got the two things we needed our character and our animation. So now we're going to go to actually, let's delete this cube first. 
we're gonna go to file import fbx go to our folder and bring in our character which is maria so here's maria and as you guys can see there's no animations on maria oh let's add some textures here viewport shading all right next we're gonna bring in an animation so we get file import fbx and rhythm mid rhythm dance that's our animation it's gonna take a little bit for it to load in just because there's a lot of data coming in so we'll just give it a second and here it is so let's play this and yeah there's our animation all right so next we need to uh, apply the animation we see here on the right into our character to do this we're gonna have to open another window so I'm gonna go ahead and drag open an another window and we're going to be making this into the dope sheet and once you have the dope sheet open you want to change dope sheet into the action editor with the bar right beside that so action editor now we're going to click on our armature which you know what let's name, name this character and let's rename our reference to animation so again we're going to click on our character in the outliner and over here in our action editor we're gonna drag this down and click on reference and oh 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 lord okay uh, <laughs> now as you guys can see we got the same pose and if we play this let's see what we get dance starts so again it's a little bit slow just because there's so much data here but as you guys can see it's it's working like a charm and I I swear I didn't have the character in mind when I chose the animation, but it's working out pretty well. And so that's how you do that. So this actually won't work if your rig is different or if the armature, if the armature names are different. The only way, or the only reason this actually worked was because uh, we chose, we exported the animation as Mixamo and we downloaded the Mixamo rig. And so if you want to use your own rig, there are programs out there that will try and match your uh, namespacing and everything with um, with your export but those cost money and the other, only other way to go around that is to do it manually to rename everything and try and match the rig to match what you exported or if you use Maya you can use uh, human IK export and you can just uh, if you rig the character with human IK it should just work just fine and yeah if you enjoyed this video consider just slightly just smashing that like button consider subscribing to stay notified of cool 3d content like this also, don't forget that Rococo has partnered up with the channel. And so, again, they're offering 10% off for uh, their suit. And once you get their suit, you can make an account and have access to their uh, studio. So just shoot me a message if you're interested in purchasing a suit, if it's something that suits like a project you're working on, because it does save a lot of time when you can record your own animations or apply animations to your character instead of animating it. Just before we finish things up, I want to give you a huge thank you to my beautiful patrons. Thank you guys for your continued support. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, I already said it, make sure to smash that like button. With all that out of the way, happy animating, and I will see you guys in the next video.